Hi, this is Sam Guan with Siemens PRM Software. Today I would like to share with you a quick tip regarding what I can use in synchronous modeling of capturing a volume. In this case, I have a particular measuring cup. I'd like to know what is the volume of this particular measuring cup. In this case, it will be about 14.375, but how would I go and capture that particular volume in the modeling? So in this case, we're going to take a look what we can do using synchronous. So the first thing what I want to do is I want to go in there and turn on a what we call a selection group, a particular option called All But Selected or Select All. We want to have those to selection, selection function available for us to do that. The first thing we want to do is select face of using delete face synchronous. Then we want to use the boss and all the pockets. We want to go ahead and remove that. Notice how quickly it filled out that particular volume. And then we'll want to do a reverse selection and just basically remove all the geometry on the outside. Look how quickly I can extract the volume. The next thing what I want to do is I want to go ahead and measure the body. See why I get this volume? I get this about 14.4247. So I know that particular design is not accurate. Well, let's take a look at another more complicated model. In this case, I have a particular um, of a uh, design is fairly complicated and we want to take a look at how we can do the same. We'll go ahead and do the same method. We want to copy this so this we have a duplicate body and then we want to go ahead and change this color so later on when we do extract the body that will have a different color. So we want to go ahead and use synchronous and select the boss and then all the faces. We we'll also quickly select over a thousand faces and then what we can do is we do that reverse selection like we did earlier and it picked up about over 800 faces. Now we go ahead and remove all the external faces. So now we have a particular design that has the both uh, internal and the external. So let's make the internal a little more semi-transparent. Then we want to come back and unhide the one, the one, the one we picked earlier. So let's go ahead and do that and now we can go ahead and take a look at the particular section view of this particular design we see that uh, now we have all that is clearly defined. Okay? Next thing you want to do is want to go ahead and select and determine the volume of that. Notice how quickly we can determine the volume of that internal. But what if we're going to make some design changes? Let's go ahead and do that. On one of the uh, outlet, we want to go ahead and modify that outlet to a different um, diameter. Using synchronous, we want to go ahead and change that to a much smaller diameter. In this case, we did. Well, easily we could just drag and drop that particular resize face to an earlier in the feature tree. Now notice that everything update and then uh, once again our volume is going to decrease as well. So that is all done. Let's go ahead and analyze the volume and then you notice that our volume has decreased that as well. Using synchronous modeling can give us this type of result. So what we're suggesting is synchronous is more than just editing the feature. It gives us the capability to determine the volume of a particular design. Thank you.